Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to read books and the name is Back to Fine, Dear Zoo, Blue the Fruit Bat. So let's do Eeny Meeny Miny Mo. Let's see which goes first. Eeny Meeny Miny Mo. Catch it, tug a part, stop. If it spills, let it go. Eeny Meeny Miny Mo. This one. So go, let's do this one next to me. Dear Zoo. We'll do the easy one, then hard one, then another hard one. I wrote to the zoo to send me a pet. They sent me an elephant. He was too big. I sent him back. They so they sent me a giraffe. He was too tall. Oh, I sent him back. So they sent me a lion. He was too fierce. Oh, I sent him back. So they sent me a camel. He was too grumpy. Oh, I sent him back. So they sent me a snake. He was too scary. I sent some back. So they sent me a monkey. He was too naughty. I sent some back. So they sent me a frog. He was too jumpy. I sent some back. So they fought very hard and sent me a dog. He was perfect. I kept him. The end. Let's do mm, this one now. Bluey, fruit spat, a glow in the dark book. Bluey, Binko, Mum and Dad are playing pop up croc. Again, says Bluey when the game ends. No, that's it. It's bedtime, Mum replies. Not fair, Bluey. Not fair. Bluey doesn't want to go to bed. No! All right, says Dad, following Bluey and Bingo outside. Say goodnight to the animals. Bingo waves goodnight, kangaroos. Night, bilbies. Night, fruit bats, says Dad. No fruit bats don't sleep at night. They, they're oct octermal, explains Mingo. You mean they don't need to go to bed now, asks Bluey. No, but you do, says Dad. Bluey wishes she was a fruit bat. But fruit bats don't get to play rocket ship. Dad zooms Bluey and Bingo upstairs to the bathroom. I don't need a shower, explains Bluey. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Says Dad. Not fair. I bet fruit bats don't have to have have to have showers, says Bluey. But fruit bats don't get to play penguins. Look at me, Mum, says Bluey. What a do? And they don't get to play story game. Dad starts reading. She opened the door, but out jumped a huge, hairy snore. Wake up! The kids squealed. Spotter! Daddy yells. They laugh 
until mom comes in to kiss them goodnight. Not fair, Louie. Not fair. Louie wants to be a fruit bat. Not go to bed. Louie sneaks downstairs and cheekily asks mom if she can stay up. Dad is asleep on the floor, dreaming about playing touch footy. He doesn't get to play much anymore. Mum explains. Why doesn't he get to play it for real life? Asks Louie. He's busy, sweetheart. Working and looking after you too. That doesn't seem very fair. Bluey has an idea. If Dad dreams about footy, maybe she can dream about being a fruit bat. She runs back to bed. Bluey closes her eyes and all of a sudden she's snoring high above their their house, flapping her arms like a fruit bat. She flies past bedroom windows and sees Mackenzie fast asleep. He gets massively full, eating lots of fruit. Then Bluey hears a familiar voice in the dance, whatever that one is. Distant. Distance. It's Dad playing footy with his mates. Hey Dad yells Bluey. Hey Bluey. You're a fruit bat, says Dad, waving how is it? Says Dad, waving. How is it? It's great, says Bluey. You get to eat a lot of fruit. It looks like Dad is having a lot of fun playing footy. No wonder he misses it. It's time to head home. When Bluey wakes up the next morning, he thinks about Dad. It doesn't seem fair that he doesn't get to play footy for real life. But she never heard him ringing wind about it. Not even once. I have the most amazing dream, Louie says, walking into the kitchen for breakfast. Dad's doing sit-ups, so he's ready for when he plays footy again one day. Louie has something to tell him. Thanks for looking after us, Dad, Louie says, giving him a hug. You're welcome. The end! Now let's do Wombat Divine, guys. Wombat Divine. Wombat Divine. It was the week before Christmas. Wombat loved Christmas. He loved the carols and the candles, the presents and the pudding. But most of all, he loved the nativity play. Or as long as he, he could remem remember. Wombat had wanted to be in the nativity. Now at last he was old enough to take part. So with his heart full of hope and his head full of dreams, he hurried along the audacious. 
His friends were already there. Umi was bossing and fussing as usual. Now let's get started, she says. Who'd like to be the Archangel Gabriel? Me, is Wombat is saying. I would send Wombat. Wait, that's too heavy to be the Archangel Gabriel. Archangel Gabriel. Bilby was chosen instead. Bilby patted Wombat on the back. Never mind, Wombat, don't lose heart. Why not try for a different part? What a good idea, said Emu. Now, who'd like to be Mary? I would set Wombat. Numbat was chosen instead. Numbat struck the Wombat's nose. There, there, Wombat, don't lose heart. Why not try for a different part? Right, said Emu. Now we would like to be one of all three kings. I would send them that. The kangaroo was chosen instead. Wait, I missed the penny guys. But it was too short to be a king. The kangaroo chosen instead. The kangaroos put their arms around one that. Cheer up, Wombat, don't lose heart. Why not try for a different part? I love that song, guys. Wombat tried everything. He wanted to be Joseph. Joseph. But he was too sleepy. He wanted to be the innkeeper, but he was too clumsy. He wanted to be one of one of the shepherds, shepherds, but he was too short side. But he was too short sighted. Suddenly, wait, now there's a page, and then the, and then there were no parts left. One back. Hang his head and hope he wouldn't cry. Suddenly, Bilby leap, leapt into the air. I know, he shouted. You could be the... Baby Jesus. Could I, fast Wombat? Could I really? Of course he could, Wombat said Emu, fancy my forgetting such an important part, an activity with the baby Jesus. And no activity at all. Is no activity at all. Wombat was dizzy with pride. Christmas Eve arrived and whilst everyone was nervous except Wombat, he lay quiet and still throughout the whole performance. He even fell asleep, just like a real baby would. On Christmas, on Christmas Day, when everyone was opening presents and eating pudding, they all agreed with On Christmas Day, when everyone was opening presents and eating pudding, they all agreed it had been the best activity ever. You were divine, Wombat, said Emu. And Wombat beamed. The end. Bye, guys. See you in the next video. And make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos. And bye! Wombat Divine and Bluey Fruit Bat Dizzoo. Bye!